A young girl killed on the front porch. She's just one of the people killed in the several recent shootings in the state's largest city. A lot of people feeling the pain because of all the recent violence. And now one city leader, some city leaders, are trying to take some action about it. News 8's Alley refollowing the latest developments and what people are saying about that situation. Bridgeport police are investigating three homicides that took place over three days. Enough is enough. A 30-year-old restaurant owner was shot dead during an attempted robbery. A 15-year-old girl was shot on her family's front porch. A 35-year-old man was shot and killed in front of a barber shop. These latest shootings bring the total number of people killed in the city this year to 14. It makes me feel scared, you know. You know, a lot of stuff is happening. And we don't feel safe in our own city. Coming down here, I locked the car. You know, have eyes at the back of your head. Memorials like this one for the 15-year-old are constant reminders of the pervasive violence. When many in the city heard that a 15-year-old girl had been killed, it reignited the conversation about a curfew. For the past eight months, city council members have debated a curfew, and now they will finally vote on it right here on Thursday. Lydia Martinez, a councilwoman representing Bridgeport's east side where the 15-year-old was killed, believes the curfew will pass. She says it won't solve the problem, but it will give parents more control over their kids. You could tell their kids, you got to be here by 11 o'clock, otherwise the police will escort you, I'm going to get a fine, and other things could happen, such as calling DCF and other people. If it passes Thursday, the curfew would require the city's youth to stay off the streets between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Sunday through Thursday and from midnight to 6 a.m. Fridays and Saturdays. In Bridgeport, Allie Reed, News 8.